Welcome back everyone, today I'm going to showing you how to create this really nice horizontal scroll animation with React and we are going to use just pure CSS. And as you can see, when I hover this, the animation will stop and as you can see, this is pretty cool. And you can add on click event on this image here if you want. Alright, so the first thing is let's open the terminal and from here we are going to generate react application i'm going to use fit so we can say npm create fit lettuce and the name of the application in this case I'm, I'm going to say auto horizontal scroll and i'm going to use typescript if you don't want to use typescript just don't use this template here all right so now let's cd into the auto horizontal scroll folder and from here i'm going to say code and then dot to open that into visual studio code like so and then here i'm going to make it bigger so let's open the terminal and i'm gonna say npm install all right it's done so now let's say npm run dev to start the localhost 5173 and this is what we have by default right great so the first thing is i'm going to close this terminal and let's just remove the file that we don't need the app.css here I don't want to use that so let's just remove this and for the index.css i'm going to remove all the content and for the app.tsx i'm going to grab all of this inside the return and i'm going to say diff with the class app and inside in here i'm going to say heading one and i'm going to say hello world and just remove this use state and everything up here and now we should see something like this and go to index.css and I'm going to grab the body tag and I'm going to change the font family to Arial. And also I'm going to grab the app class and in here I'm going to say text align to center. Just like that. So now I'm going to create file inside a source called data, data.ts. And I just want to paste this data right here. This is basically just array of source link of the image here and the name of the image we have 10 different image in here i'm going to close that and yeah you can grab the file on the description i'm going to put the link in the description and now we are going to create file here called banner so i'm going to say banner.tsx and let's do rfc and then i'm going to import the banner here let's say banner like so so now we should see banner right here nice so inside a banner i'm gonna create this div here and let's just create a div with the class banner dash wrapper and inside this banner wrapper i have another wrapper like so and in here we can create div with the class images and from here we can directly import the images like so but i'm not gonna do that so i'm gonna grab that from here because the banner is reusable component so you can use for any page you want basically so in here i'm gonna say images images like so set that equals to images it's gonna become from the data and as you can see we got this warning here that is because on the banner we don't get any props that have name images so of course because we're working with typescript we can say interface let's do banner props and inside in here i have images and these images is basically an object inside an array and from here we can create source it's gonna be string and also you can say name this is also gonna be string like so because the format of the data is source and name right great so now we can put these banner props inside this banner component so we can put it like so and we can grab the images like that so in here inside of these images here i can map through the images so let's do images dot map and in here i can grab the uh, source and also the name like that and here we can just return let's do diff and this diff here i'm going to at class name called individual image and inside in here i'm going to render image and this image here have a source come from the source and the name it should be the alt it should be the name 
alt set equals to name. When I save and as you can see, it's going to be look like this. The image is really big. As you can see, we have the scroll bar down here. So let's first, when you're working with image, of course, the better way is to set the width of the image first before you're working with the styling. So here I'm going to grab all the images. I'm going to grab the image tag and I'm going to set the maximal width into, I'm going to save 150 pixel. Let's save and as you can see, we have these vertically images right here. So when we take a look in our code here, as you can see, these images is wrapping inside the images class name, right? So I think in inside the images here, we can set the display to flex to make it the image here horizontally, right? So let's go back to index.css here and I'm going to grab the, let's say, banner wrapper dot wrapper and then dot images like so and in here we can say display to flex as you can see when i do that it's going to be look like this but this image here it's more hake than others so we can specify the hake of this image we can say hake to whatever we want so in this case i'm going to say 10 ram so now all image have uh same height but as you can see this kind of look weird because when we're working with image we should put um when you set the width and height you should set the object fit into cover like that as you can see now it's more better you cannot typing background to uh, for example this chocolate color as you can see this is the app here i'm gonna set the maximal width of this app so I can say maximal width into 100, 1200 pixel and I'm going to make the component into the center so I can say margin 10 RAM for the top and bottom and auto left and right to make it in the center like so. So now let's try to animate this image here into the left. So how do we do that? So here as you can see we have these images is wrapping all the image right here and i'm going to add another uh css here i'm going to say animation i'm going to create swipe like so and here i'm going to say 5000 millisecond for the time and also this is going to be linear and i'm going to set that to infinite all right so let's now create the keyframes keyframes equals to swipe which is the name that we declare in here and we can say when there is a 0%, let's say 0%, we can say transform. Then here I can say translate X into 0. And when it's 100%, let's say 100%, I'm going to set that to transform, translate X into minus 100%. Because we set the minus it should be moved to the left when we set that to plus 100 it should be moved to the right so let's grab the banner wrapper like so and i'm gonna set that the width into 100 percent and also the height i'm gonna set that to 10 ram just same of that uh image here so now i want to remove this background on the app and i'm gonna set the background on the banner wrapper let's say background into i'm gonna use this color here and as you can see so now as you can see the image is moved like so and i'm going to add space between the image and I'm, I'm gonna add padding here let's say padding top and bottom i'm gonna say zero and for the left and right i'm gonna say 10 pixel so when i save and as you can see its image half space but I want to, when the image go outside this box yellow here, it should be hidden the content. So we can say overflow to hidden. So now as you can see, it's work. So let's remove the background, as you can see. But we have this blank image in the background here. So let's go back to banner here. To fix that, it's pretty simple. We need to duplicate these images right here, like so. 
let's refresh we cannot see it because we set the overflow to hidden so let's remove the overflow here let's comment that out first and as you can see this is what we have and we want to this image is basically uh, will be coming one uh, line right so we need to set the wrapper into flex so let's see on the code here as you can see these images is inside this wrapper so we can grab this wrapper and set display flex on that so let's do banner wrapper dot wrapper and then display i'm gonna set that to flex when i save and see all images will be one line now and we can set the overflow hidden and see as you can see it's working when i hover this as you can see it's not stopping the animation to do that we can say in here we can do and then uh, when we hover this banner wrapper color as you can see we have already doing that right here when i set the background when we hover that i want to the images let's say animation play state to pause so now as you can see when I hover it stopped but of course i'm gonna set the cursor here to pointer when we go into this image okay very cool you can set the animation here whatever you want you can set 10,000 to make it more slow or maybe you can even uh, create speed in here you can say speed and set to for example 5000 and now we can grab that in here let's add speed in here speed is gonna be number like so and we can grab it the speed in here and then how do we set the speed this one in this CSS right here to do that it's pretty simple in these images here I'm going to add style inline style so that equals to I'm going to put a string and then dash dash speed the value is gonna be come from the speed so we can grab that like so speed and then millisecond all right so after we're doing that but as you can see we have this warning here if you're not working with TypeScript you're not going to see this warning but if we're working with TypeScript we can we get the warning and to fix that it's very simple react css properties like so and now the error is going to be gone and of course we can also can copy this and paste that to these images right here like so right so now let's go back here and instead of putting the a thousand millisecond like so let's remove this we can save far and then we can put dash dash speed right here so now as you can see it should be work this is 5000 millisecond when i change that to for example let's say 100 millisecond as you can see it's freaking fast let's go back to 5000 nice and what else we need to show you here is as you can see this is look terrible as a component so i think i'm going to create another component here so let's do rfc and i'm going to remove this default and also the import right here and i'm going to say image section so now i'm going to just cut all this div here with the class name images i'm going to cut that out and paste that right here in this return here but as you can see we have some warning here going on but let's just first remove this one as well and here I'm going to return the image section like so and as you can see inside the image section we need to grab the speed and the images I'm going to copy these props here and paste that right here and also inside this image section we need to send the images set that equals to images images and also the speed set that equals to speed let's save and now it should be still working as you can see we just have one images here so you can just copy and paste this to create two images so now we have that image right here yeah i think we're done with this tutorial but if you see this styling here is not what you want you can change that and 
directly create the images style in here and set that equals to an object you can, you can say animation like so and put the style from the CSS right here you can just copy this one and go back right here you can use backtick and put it like so and of course you can set the variable here into speed millisecond like so and put the image style inside this style right here just like that and hopefully it's still working let's try to comment this one and see what we have as you can see it's still working when i change that value for example let's do 2000 and as you can see it's working yeah it's depend what you want and it's depend what your creativity but if you have down here like a scroll bar on the bottom here you can set the body here into overflow x to hidden something like that yeah i think we're done guys with this simple tutorial hopefully this is helpful and you can implement that in your react application so thank you so much for watching see you guys on the next one